I'm Gina Bartusch and I'm running for the position as an Environment and Ethics Officer. I decided to run for this position because I'm very passionate and interested in topics that relate to the environment. I'm a lot involved in, for example, the green and blue space, the sustainability and environment uh, high field on campus. And furthermore, I deal also a lot with sustainability, climate change personally, but also uh, within my studies and want to do something in this area also my future. And I want to I want to raise more awareness about so many topics and I think this is a good way to do it. My three different points are first of all environmental education in order to raise awareness about topics dealing with sustainability, uh, global warming, climate change and how this how something can be contributed on an individual level so how each student for example at university can ch change something in his daily life to to live in a more environmentally friendly way and um, sustainable my second point is food waste because it's also like very important for a sustainable future to reduce waste, not only considering all the poverty that exists in so many countries all over the world, but also considering all the energy that is, for example, needed for the production of, of food. And therefore, it's a very important topic to tackle. And, and my third point is recycling. A lot has already been done here on campus, but there's a lot improvement still needed on campus as well as in the student halls about how to recycle, about the supply of bins in accommodation as well as on campus. And this is also one of my three focuses. I think one of the best things about the union is actually how they support green and blue space and how they collaborate and because this makes it possible to further expand the topics or further expand the work that the Green Blue Space is, is dealing with. I think one way how they can improve actually is regarding how they reach people because my impression is that often not enough people are reached by their messages, by the projects, by everything. And when I relate it now to Green and Blue space, space, for example, I feel that there are already many students involved, but so much more could get involved, but they don't know about it. So the, the amount of students that are reached by Green and Blue Space, for example, in general also by different projects can be expanded a lot. And this is all about communication. <laughs> I feel very well prepared for that due to the fact that it's also a big part of my studies. Um, I have a module that deals with global environmental issues and I, it's a, an extra module that I took uh, last semester, this semester, and it deals actually with topics that about uh, the environment and the, the impact of uh, humanity on it and sustainability, climate change, all these topics um, I deal with, first of all, like in my as part of my studies, but also in my free time, because I'm involved in several voluntary projects, also with the green and blue space. And with all these different experiences that I have due to my studies, um, and also thanks to green and blue space, I'm prepared to, to tackle more topics and I'm prepared for this position. We are all in this together. We all live on the same planet. And without the planet is what, what gives us life. And without it, we can't survive. And it also can't survive without, without us. But this shows that we should take care of it. And therefore, each of us should care about it and contribute something to make it a healthier, a, healthier, a better and more sustainable place, also in order to meet the needs of the future generations, of course.